All right, I'm back with another video on GR Gero. Uh, this one's going to be a little different. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably uh, see where I shared the developer of GR Gero has did a uh, another branch called CBAN Hunter, and uh, he's using it uh, to uh, demodulate information and bursts that are on CBAN. I don't have a dish. Uh, or the setup to do that, so I am going to use the C-Band Hunter uh, branch of GR Gero for L-Band. And why? Why am I going to do that? So if we take a look at Gero, which is what GR Gero is ultimately going to feed information to, uh, you can see it's a program that demodulates into codes, ACARS, uh, aircraft communication, addressing and reporting system messages, sent from satellites to airplanes uh, over uh, SATCOM uh, around about the 1.5 gigahertz range. Uh, you can use an RTL SDR for this. Um, the advantage of GR Gero, which I'm going to show, I'm, I'm going to use something other than the RTL SDR. I'm going to use the HackRF. Uh, previously uh, to, uh, to feed Gero, uh, I did a video where I used SDR receiver, uh, another great application. Uh, it's just uh, set up for the uh, RTL SDR, uh, I think at this time really only. Okay, so if you have a look at this page, you'll get a lot of good information about the, um, the other app, the second part of the uh, setup here, Gero itself, and how it works and what it does. Uh, some information on receiving the signal you know, all the way down to the frequencies um, so on and so forth and then what content you can expect to see in these ACARS um, messages okay so that's a good reference there and then also the github page on Jero uh, sure, uh, has a little more information and set up on how you would uh, run it uh, but I'm going to make this as easy as possible. So back to the C-Band Hunter. Uh, if you want to get this up and running, you got a couple options. I am uh, took the last few days and converted this uh, with the help of the GRGR developer to GNU Radio 3.8 because it's made for GNU Radio 3.10 by default. Uh, however, in Dragon OS Vocal, uh, it is currently running GNU Radio 3.8 uh, for specific reasons. Uh, maybe eventually it'll move on to 3.10, but there's a lot of applications that are still currently uh, building upon GNU Radio 3.8. So I've got this uh, C-Band Hunter running on GNU Radio 3.8, all built into Dragon OS. I am running a live um, instance of Dragon OS right now from USB. So this will all be built in here, what you're seeing that I am doing. Uh, I will post a link in the description to the latest Dragon OS Focal ISO that I'm um, testing, working on. And once that's done, I'll put it on source for it. So you should be able to follow along with what I'm doing here, uh, even live, uh, running live. So, okay. All right, I said all that to basically show that uh, with one terminal window, we can go into the user source GR Jero apps C-band hunter modular directory. We'll have a look around. Now, uh, again, I'll put a link to the uh, the videos that go more in depth by the developer on how this works. I just wanted to make this as uh, quick and as easy as possible to get up and running. So let's take a look at the single subband and GUI. All right, I'm back. So uh, I found a small uh, flaw with uh, something here. So you'll notice uh, a chunk of the video spliced out. Uh, I think where I left off. So we want to show how to get this up and running as uh, quick as possible. So if we look at this single subband and GUI script, uh, I, I made it a change. So what? this should do is automatically create the uh, higher blocks um, that are needed to run this whole thing that we're about to start up and then just to recap if I didn't already say it I'm going to use the HackRF and what I've done is I've changed the uh, frequency here for uh, what I find works well with 98W 
uh, the L-band satellite there and the uh, gain 40 works really well and uh, so I have this set up where I'm using the external bias T just to make this video really uh, simple I have an externally uh, powered bias T hooked up. If you wanted to use an internal on the hack graph, you're going to have to go into Steel Suite and make some changes to the flow graph and regenerate the Python file. That's outside this uh, video, though. I'm just keeping it simple. Since we are opening up the uh, subband with GUIs, this um, is going to open up a GUI that will show the overall spectrum and a breakdown of what each subband looks like and since this is just one subband there will only be one subband populated and then this other um, uh, sorry the okay so that's that's the overall GUI the main GUI the uh, we're gonna need this bands running the core this is just one subband subband zero this will make more sense once I have this pulled up and open and then we need a channelizer for that subband zero uh, really wouldn't be too concerned about the port numbers here that's all described on the page just know that for Jero, we're going to be starting at ports uh, 6001 going up to, I think it's 6015 or 16, uh, 16 I think. And then another GUI is going to be just for that channelizer. And that will break down just what that subband looks like and what each um, little sliver uh, for Jero is going to look like. And then uh, what I try to do is uh, I try to make this script... Um, wait for a control C so it should start up and shut down everything that we're about to run cleanly as long as you hit control C in the terminal that started it if you close that out of a window or do something else I, I've not covered every edge case uh, you could find that some of these processes are stuck running in the background so I think you're okay if you just hit control C in this terminal and I'm sure this these scripts will get better I just put this together uh, to make this easier on the uh, user here. So I've got the HackRF plugged in. Again, note that uh, for DragonOS you need the firmware 2021 or greater. Uh, actually, firmware right here. And so all we should have to do to get this up and running is about forward slash single subband and GUI. And we're doing this in user source GeoGero apps, CBAN Hunter mod uh, modular. And this should be it. Hacker is plugged in. Boom. Plug it up. It's checking to make sure blocks are there. It's there. We get two graphical user interfaces. This is the main GUI that shows the entire spectrum that HackerF is seeing. We see that subband zero is populated. You can mess with uh, the waterfall max to make this easier to see what is uh, going on in that subband. If you needed to adjust what the subband is covering, the uh, little slider bars or the up and down arrows, you can carefully take that left or right if you needed to cover something else. You can see that you've got uh, the five uh, subbands here, and uh, you can turn on and off what they are uh, looking at. You can barely make out uh, the colors here of where these subbands are pointed at. It does seem a little odd that the this one's over here. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so let's see. Then if we come over here to the channelizer GUI, we can see that that a specific subband that we're looking at and then what we should see in Jero when we connect to these ports so like you know 6001 looks like it's got some burst activity going on uh, 6004 6005 so on and so forth we can uh, leave these running um, I believe you probably could even close the uh, GUIs if you didn't want those open and I but you're, you're best off just hitting control C on this uh, terminal here to cleanly shut this down. So now, okay, so what do we do now? Well, I'll come down here and open up just the regular Jiro application. And we can click the little configuration 
button here and we'll change this like I said we'll start on 6001 leave the topic zero I've clicked the ZMQ audio and there we go we got one instance of uh, Jero opening or opened I'm like okay well let's do another one so now we've got all these subbands or sorry all these uh, ports that we can connect to and this is just one uh, subband if all these subbands were open we'd be looking at another 16 ports on subband 1 16 ports you know so on and so forth you could see how you could cover all of L band or, or C band I guess uh, with this so let's let's open another one a slightly different way we'll do a dash s uh, actually if you do dash h you can see what the dash s is settings i'll just give it a different name so i'm not looking at jero version 1.4 whatever and we'll just call this 2 uh, so 2 now keep in mind we'll come down here we'll change this to uh, i'm going to leave it on 6001 and make sure the topic is still jero CMQ audio is selected and uh, we'll move it over here uh, to this second little um, thing that we see here burst uh, or, or frequency spike whatever you want to call it so now I got two open we can see we're getting a car's information if we looked on this page we can see the uh, information that we're receiving and then you know the actual decoding that's going on here and you could just keep doing this let's call this three minimize it click the little gear turn on ZMQ audio change this to 6001 these numbers are populating because I had some of these windows open earlier topic zero and we'll change this back to 600 BPS and we'll get a good uh, clean constellation that will wait we'll start getting some information and there we go so that is one subband open and three instances of Jero and they're all receiving uh, messages that's about as um, straightforward as I, I could get now let's say let's say we want to go to the extreme here these message debug prints this is bouncing back and forth between the two um, the the core GUI and the channelizer uh, so that the numbers uh, they, they look a little funny going up and down the 4800 and the about 1500 that's bouncing between the two so it gets a little confusing when running in one turn window here but uh, that's uh, for some like debug prints those numbers um, I've seen them dip really low when I try to run this on the Pi and it just it, it just couldn't keep up so I find that for my laptop about the 4800 1500 or well 48,000 15,000 I'm seeing uh, works out really well so now let's shut all this down maybe close out here uh, doesn't close the Jira windows for us uh, let me make sure nothing was left running in the background okay everything looks good let's try let's try all five sub bands and uh, GUIs I, I, I feel like this is going to open up quite a bit of stuff here forgot I need to see forgot uh, it's by default on the uh, RTO SDR let's comment that out I want to use the hacker F and and because I can't remember Frequency, there we go. Just wanted that frequency. The 
one I had put in the other one. Come over here, just think of this as like your master configuration file here to get everything up and going. Now let's try all five sub bands and GUIs. My hacker F is plugged in still, obviously. Okay. Now it'd be kind of hard to see, but there's five five uh, separate windows here. The only thing I notice is uh, not really labeled as to. Oh, we can see the um, one, two, three, five. Okay, so we can see all the ZMQ port numbers there. 6064, 6048, so 6016. You get the you get the idea here. All these subbands have to look to see uh, how can how can this be labeled accordingly. You could just look back and forth to figure out uh, which ones which here. Subband zero, subband one, two, three and four. So this is everything running. You've got all kind of ports that you can connect to on Jero. And just to show that, uh, let's see, everything still works. Come in here, click on CMQ Audio. We'll go back to that 6001, J-A-E-R-O. And so we're back up and running with all subbands covered with the ability to subscribe across the board to uh, those different um, subbands. And then if you're questioning, you know, if there's any activity in the ZMQ ports that you're going to connect to with Jero, you can refer to the uh, channelizer GUIs here, like the 6017. And some of this stuff may not even be um, you know able to be decoded there, there could be other things that are uh, out there so we can look and see what kind of activity we're looking at uh, in each subband okay all right hopefully that is more uh, descriptive and uh, easy to get this um, up and running let me make sure I go back to where I opened this all and I have to look at maybe some cleaner exits, but everything looks fine. All right, hopefully that will get you up and going with a GR uh, Jero C band hunter. If you're wanting to look at L band, if you want to do C band, you're going to need the uh, equipment to um, to get that going. All right, thanks.